Um, if you turn to the right, actually we'll go to the left first. This is the farmhouse, the main farmhouse. This is where everyone sleeps. So mine is a family of four living here. Um, and so I sleep up here. And you can look over the entire, you can look over the farm from here. So I sleep here. Um, if we come down back here, you can see our kitchen area with our nice little stove top, a sink, and so we prepare all of our food. We have four horses here, and they're all named after things we've covered this year. Here are our four horses. And then here we have our three shepherd dogs. Now coming over to the left over here, this is our compost toilet. And then if we want to come over here, this giant structure is our silo. That music's kind of loud, hang on. Just turn that down a little bit. So up here is our silo. I'm gonna fly up it real quick. And inside is where we store a lot of our food. And here are some solar panels on top of it. There are some solar panels on the roof of the house as well. And here's, you can see some of the hay, some of the other food inside of there as well, and wheat. So we're gonna drop down here. This is the farm solar array, which produces all, all of our energy. So our farm is entirely green energy run. And we also sell some of our green energy to other people as well. So while also providing energy for ourselves, we provide energy for everyone else. This is our compost uh, waste station. And so any food scraps we put in here and um, eventually that's, this gets taken to the fields, which I'll come up to later. This is one of our two beehives. You can see our bees are pretty active. And they just hang around over here. There's some flowers around that they pollinate. And so they just like chilling out here. Um, over here is our greenhouse, which is mainly flowers, but there's some other fruits and fruits growing in here as well. Um, but we do take flowers out of the greenhouse and put them um, near the bees so they have more things to pollinate. And then if we keep coming over here, this is our pasture land. So these are our sheeps right here. Um, our pigs are right here. Um, our cows are here. And our chickens are here. Now the cows are only in this um, smaller space right now during the, during the nighttime, but I have it on daytime so you can see. But during the nighttime, these walls uh, lift up and they have all of that land over there, which is about five acres where they can roam free. Um, and then we'll go back to that part later. This is our forest. I'll give you a little aerial view. And so all of our lumber came from this that we needed to build our um, buildings and structures. All the lumber came from this forest area. Um, and then here's the river that has salmon. We sometimes fish, but do not overfish because we want to preserve that um, population. Here's our pumpkin patch and watermelon farm. Here's our berries. We've got um, strawberries, ras uh, strawberries, blueberries, and blackberries growing over here. Um, we come around over here. This is the windmill where we process and turn our flour, not sorry, our wheat into flour. And simultaneously, we also make like food for the cows here and the chicken. And it's all natural as well. Here's our, um, so his, this is the cropland and it's a rotating polyculture. So what happens is half of the time we have things growing here, half the time we have this land regenerating. And so we take manure, which we have storage here and all the way over there. We have, we take manure and put it on the regenerating land along with compost from the uh, compost waste and that helps regenerate the soil and then here we are growing wheat beets potatoes carrots alfalfa uh, rye barley and a bunch of other uh, lettuce and a bunch of other um, vegetables and these are all planted in the same area together so that um, it's not just a monoculture society, uh, yeah, population. Here is the aquaponic lake that has many different um, species of fish living inside of it, along with some marine plants. And so um, how this works is water from here is taken into this pipe, and then it's filtered, and the excess water is then pumped through this pipe back to the pond here and back to the main house as well. And um, then this, see this 
cropland has like this water around it. It's not normally like this. It only has this water when um, the nutrients from the um, aquatic lake are flowing in. So this will turn this machine on. It'll release a bunch of water with all the nutrients that it has from the lake. And that'll come and provide nutrients to this field over here. Um, here's our groundwater pump. And you can't see what it's pumping to, but I'll come back to where it goes later. Um, and then if, we're, if we continue over here, um, this is our farmer stand. And so we sell a bunch of produce here and not just food. We sell textiles from the sheep's wool and some leathers from cows we use for consumption. So we, uh, but the, the most popular products are watermelons and pumpkins. Um, here's our second beehive, and here's a flower field that they all pollinate, and the bees love it. And then over here is the well, and so we also have water here. So we have three different water sources, the well, the groundwater pump, and the river here. And then here is where we milk our cows so we can get dairy products from them. That's this room. And then, last but not least, if we come over here, this is one of the reservoirs around the farm where we keep the water. So our farm uses about 700,000 gallons of water every year, so we need a place to store that. And if I, so it's, it's hidden so you want to see it, but if I dig down in here, and I swim in the little reservoir, I'm not supposed to do this, but this is where we store a bunch of water for the farm. All right, and that is a tour of my farm. I'll give one last aerial view so you can see. Um, but yeah, that's my farm. I hope you enjoyed.